get rid of that sweater. It really is. Now, in any recipe, for it to really taste good, you got to have the right ingredients. Know what I mean? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma so I carefully selected some stuff that I want. You know, one thing that will just about work in any recipe is a good old potato. You know, yeah, you just can't mess potatoes. up on potatoes. So I'll tell you what you got to do, though. You don't want your potatoes to taste bad, so you got to wash them real good. You wash you all the dirt off of them. Sure, you got to scrub that whole hide right off of those potatoes. You know, because potatoes grow in the dirt. You're right, Bruni. Then you have to peel on it. That's the hard part. Well, you're right, Miss Gabby. You've been in your mama's kitchen, haven't yes, you? Yes, ma'am. So you got to wash up your potatoes, scrub them real good, clean off all them peelings, and then your potato is going to be good in your recipe instead of mm. bad. You won't find no dirt floating around in your chili, will you? Dude, I don't want no, no dirt in my food. No, so we always got to take care of potatoes is a good thing if you need not just mashed potatoes, but in a stew or something, too. Yeah. Mm. And then we can cut us up some fresh carrots, mm. and put in some beans and a few other things like that, and you can come up with a great stew with just no problem at all. But see, to have a great stew, you got to have the right ingredients in your recipe. Where's your recipe? Well, my, most of my recipes are just in my head. You know, I do them so much, I've just got to memorize because they're simple. If you have a simple recipe, then it ain't hard to follow. It's not? Well, no, if you have an easy one, now see, like my stew recipe. I know I got to clean my potatoes and put my potatoes in the pot, put in my carrots, put in some water, a little bit of salt and pepper, and for you know it, old Pixie's got a good old stew. Well, I, I yeah. hope you hurry up, because I'm hungry. Well, yes. I know it. We got a lot to do. Let me reach down here and get my pot. What you getting? We'll put my potatoes on to boil and boil some water while we get our potatoes cleaned up. Now, I'm going to let you taste something else that's absolutely delicious. Old Pixie's got a real simple chili recipe. Yum. I just, I just cut it, I just browned up my meat, put in a little onion, put in a few little spices, and my, my, my spicy beans, and I had me a real quick and easy little bowl of chili all put together. Let me hear, let me, let, oh, you, let me taste. Let me taste. Oh, oh, it. Okay, Grudy. Oh, here, talk now. Taste, oh, taste, taste old Pixie's chili. Wait, buddy. Ooh, that's good. That's Pretty good. You're going to like it. Let me get, let me get you one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't I'll, get you, I'll get a clean spoon for you. Chili. It's just wonderful. That's the best chili I ever had. That's yes. Okay, slow it. Okay. Slow it. Wait, buddy. Oh, Miss Pixie, that's wonderful. Now, see, wasn't that? It was an easy recipe to make, just like our stew is going to be. We'll get our water on the ball. We'll get our potatoes in the pot and our carrots and a little bit of salt and pepper. And our easy recipes will get us something good to eat for too long, right? Right. right. This pizza is oh. good at cooking. Yeah, good well, cook. I know you got to put in the right ingredients and you got to put in the right amount of the ingredients and you'll have something good. And did you know that the Bible's got a recipe in it, too? A recipe? In the Bible? No, I have read it. Absolutely. There is a recipe for being born again. There is? I, yes, there is. I didn't know that. Well, there certainly is. Just like there's a recipe for a stew with the right ingredients, you can be born again. And there's only three main ingredients. Just three? Just three. Number one is your heart. And just like we started out with some good potatoes, you got to start with your heart to be born again. And then you add your mouth, and then you mix your faith in, and before you know it, you can be born again. You can have Jesus in your heart. Absolutely. Yes. You know, it says in the book of Romans that if you believe in the heart, in your heart, see, it talks about your first ingredient. Heart. If you believe in your heart that, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who died on the cross and that God raised him from the dead, you've got to believe in your heart, though. I believe that. that you, Daddy? See, that's yeah, the first Daddy. ingredient in our recipe for born again. That's the first ingredient. If you believe in your heart, and then it says, if you say with your mouth, if you will confess him as Lord with your mouth. See, you had to believe in your heart. Now you got to put it in your mouth. You I've gotta, said that oh, before lots of times. You did? Yeah. You're have good. you, Gabby? Yes, I have. In my Sunday school class with my teacher. Wow, that's wonderful, Gabby. That's wonderful. Granny said then you added your mouth. And it says confession is made unto salvation. But if you don't have the faith to mix 
mix it in there too. You know, people go around confessing a lot of things. But it's when you believe in your heart and say with your mouth and your faith has activated that, that you are born again. Now, isn't that the simplest recipe you've ever heard of? Well, that's that's, that's so easy. easy. Anybody can do it. It is yes. easy because the Bible says salvation is the gift of God. And, and when I've got a gift for somebody, I don't hide it from them and make it impossible for them to find. Do you? Now, everybody well, likes gifts. Yes, well, especially you, when they're... Real wrapped up, real, real pretty. I know it. And when I have a gift for somebody, I don't hide it for them to where they can never find it. So what's your three ingredients, Grady? What's, what's the ingredient number one for born again? Your heart. And Miss Debbie, what is ingredient number two? You have to confess with your mouth. Your mouth. And then, Grady, what element have you got to put in there that's kind of like the salt and pepper of your stew? You stir it all together with faith. You're right. And that's a recipe.